I found it. I, f I found it. Have you been missing effects in Filmora and can't figure out where they went to? I've been having that same problem. I spent days trying to figure out where the shake effect went to. And I gotta tell you, it's one of my favorite effects and when you don't have it, it really... Did I mention that I found it? Now, some of you have been messaging me in the comments section saying, Daniel, where did this effect go? And, and I'm with you, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like you think that I'm the guy who took them. Hey, Filmora? Yeah, it's Daniel. Hey, can you take away all of Steven's effects? Yeah, just make them not work. No, no, not everybody, just Steven. Oh, it'll be hysterical. He'll love it. All right, thanks. I am in the same boat you are, but I figured out how to find some of them and how to recover the rest. Stick around, I'll show you how. I seem to have chosen a very noisy shirt today. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. First things first, let's find and apply this shake effect. Bring your footage down into your timeline click on effects and over to the left click on filters at the top of that drop down menu you should see a folder that says shake click on that and you'll get all of your shake options drag one down into your timeline above your track that you want to put the effect onto you can then click on your effect in the timeline to open up the control features in the upper left they each have slightly different settings, but you can control the RGB separate, which actually pulls the colors apart as the image shakes. And you can control the motion blur while the image moves. You can also set the frequency and the positions of the footage, which allow you to control how fast and how extreme the shaking motion actually is. You can actually use the Chaos and Extreme Shake and dial them back to be very mild if you wanted to. Most of these are just preset versions of the same effect so that you can quickly get them dialed in, but almost any of them can be adjusted to what you need. Now, if you don't have this effect in your version of Filmora 9, or if other effects are either missing or not working properly, make sure you have the most recent updates installed. You can do that by clicking on Help and then Check for Update. What I found by talking to some of the community is that even though you might have the latest version of Filmora installed, you still might have some effects either not showing up or not working properly. If this is the case for you, back up your Filmora project files, uninstall Filmora 9, head over to the Filmora website and download a fresh copy of Filmora. Just make sure you back up your project files first. I can't tell you how many problems this has solved for a lot of us. Some glitches are just there with the new software and occasionally the only way to fix them is to start with a fresh copy. Are you still missing an effect or can't find something that we haven't mentioned today? Mention it in the comments below and I'll see if we can get you straightened out. Peace.